Good morning. Today is June 12th. I'm sorry, June 21st, 2020. Uh, 12th Sunday in ordinary time and Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. To those gathered in the church, welcome. To those watching online, welcome. We thank you for joining us this morning. And the Mass readings today can be found at usccb.org. You can also find the readings linked at our parish website, which is stjulianachurch.org. We invite you to visit the website, as well as the social media pages, frequently for updates and for faith formation resources. We also invite you to participate prayerfully this morning as Father Michael Poncharelli celebrates the Mass. and praise to our God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God his Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We've gathered together to celebrate the mystery of God's love for us on this Sunday morning. Let us remember the ways that we've not been afraid to go forth and proclaim the glory of God to all the people we encounter and give thanks. For the times we've turned away from God toward fear, we ask pardon and redirection to faith and salvation. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life.
us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. <clears throat> Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side, denounce, let us denounce him. For all those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O oh Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe the mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise to the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man's sin entered the world, 
and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sin. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression. For if by the transgression of the one, the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Take some, some time and read and study, prayerfully reflect on the writings of the major prophet Jeremiah. Along with Daniel and Isaiah, Jeremiah makes up the major prophets of the prophetic literature of the Hebrew writings, the Old Testament. Major prophets because their writings are long. The minor prophets are short, short in their writing. But Jeremiah tells us from the beginning, I'm too young to be doing this, Lord. Go pick on somebody else. He rails on for 70-some chapters about how difficult it is to be a prophet. And then he comes to this part, terror on every side, much like today's news, terror all around. And that causes fear. Normally when I hear terror, I'm thinking something fearful is on the horizon. Maybe it's a virus, maybe it's looting and all sorts of mischievous behavior. Maybe it's something else that I'm not even aware of yet, terror on every side. But the Lord today says, do not be afraid. You see, he wants to replace fear with faith. Fear and faith, pretty much opposite. Fear and superstition kind of go together. 
faith and the love of God, serving one another and God's ways go together. And that's what the Lord is telling us to do. Do not be afraid to go out and proclaim my name. Do not be afraid to go out and say that you're part of the Christ family. You're part of the Christian community. Do not be afraid for you're part of me. And that's gonna make all the difference in the world, in your life and in the life of society. Because you're a Christian and you're not afraid to say, I am a Christian. I must admit, sometimes it becomes difficult to wear the Roman collar in public. I've not been afraid to wear it, even my religious habit in public. But after the scandal, it became quite difficult. You can just sort of see the look on people's faces. Sometimes I've been to Anaheim Stadium with my Roman collar and not much of a response. Go to Dodger Stadium with a Roman collar and all of a sudden, hey, Father, Dodgers going to win today? Yes, the Dodgers are going to win. Get that man a beer. You want a beer, Father? No, I've already got one of those. I need a hot dog. Get the man a hot dog, but don't put any ketchup on it. You see, there's an entirely different response. And it, that response calms. That response is just very nice because you feel part of a family. And that makes all the difference in the world. What family are you really part of? Today is Father's Day in the United States. Not necessarily in the church, but Father's Day in the United States. And we have sort of particular ideas of dad. I, for one, when I was asked, Father, should we have a nice bouquet of flowers today? I said, sure, why not? What else would we put up there? And then I suggested, you know what, maybe, no, no flowers today. Today, instead of flowers on Father's Day, a barbecue. Maybe a lawnmower. Maybe boxer shorts and, and a tie and, and a handkerchief. I mean, what more is appropriate for Father's Day? But also, what about Father's Day and being part of the family? Sometimes mom kind of did father, did dad in, didn't she? You just wait until your father gets home. Yeah, we heard that quite a bit. But also Father's Day and that interesting voice, it's all right, everything's gonna be fine. He calmed the fears. It's all right, we're gonna get through it. I don't know where we're going, but I'm not gonna ask for directions and we're making good time in traffic. We're gonna get through it. We'll do it because dad is present. What a remarkable difference I had sometimes in teaching. I'm Evan's father. You've got my, um, uh, I, I don't know what to say about being Evan's dad. I, I, I apologize. I am Brian's dad. Oh, that kid's going to be part of law and order. No doubt a policeman here to come. I'm someone else's dad. Well, nice. Your kid's very nice. Now, can I have the $5, please? You see, I haven't really celebrated Father's Day, I'll be very honest, since 1964. My dad was killed in a crash. And Father's Day is something that I did with a surrogate father for a number of years. The surrogate father of my surrogate sister and surrogate brother. Brother Christopher died a few years ago, but the dad was also dead. And the sister I live with from time to time is very enjoyable. But dad, surrogate foster dad, was a medical doctor. The last thing he wanted people to know was that he was a medical doctor, because whenever he said, I'm a medical doctor. Oh, doctor, you know, my, my arm hurts. I, I got this, and all of a sudden he's practicing medicine at a restaurant and didn't want to be doing that. But Jesus is saying, don't be afraid to proclaim from the mountaintops that you're part of the Christ family. Jesus is saying, go out and be for life from conception to natural death. Jesus is saying, go out and be my presence where I cannot be. And isn't that what the best of dads are telling us? Go out and be part of the Pontarelli family because I can't be there. Go out and be part of all families because I can't be there. Know that what I taught you is going to last your lifetime. It's gonna get you through because it got me through. And that's the good news. As we hear terror on every side, let us calm and say, the voice of dad is telling me the voice of Jesus is telling me, the person of Jesus is telling me to go out and be virtuous today and every day. 
May we give thanks to that voice, that still small voice within us, that is Dad's voice. That voice, that still small voice within us, that is Jesus' voice. That voice, that still small voice within us, that is the voice of the prophet. Prophet and teacher go together. Dad and teacher go together. Let us remember who our fathers are and have been. Let us remember the teachers and the prophets in our lives. Most especially, let us remember those who have guided us to grace today and always. Happy Father's Day. Happy 12th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Dad, you can indeed use that barbecue, that lawnmower, and those boxer shorts because they're your gift from your family. Moms, on the other hand, you took out to dinner or to a lunch. Enjoy what is yours. God bless. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In faith and trust in Almighty God our Father, we place these prayers before him for Holy Church, our nation, and ourselves. For the Holy Father, may he continue to grow in holiness and wisdom in his service to the living and true God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders and those in authority, may the Lord provide his grace for the peaceful resolution of conflicts in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people throughout the world who are persecuted for their faith, may God's love give them courage as they stand for Christ in the darkness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community and visitors who have joined us, that sharing the Eucharist we may grow in unity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For James Molitor, Father's Day Novena, and the parishioners of St. Juliana Parish, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For si give? scientists, health professionals, public officials, and all who serve the common good in this difficult and uncertain time, that they will be filled with wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of our fathers, living and deceased, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we ask that you hear all of our prayers and grant them according to your will and our needs. As always, we make them to you through your Son, living forever, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Our altar table is ready now. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, the Almighty and loving Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his brother bishops, and all who minister in your name. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your great mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saints Juliana, Peregrine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command using the words that Jesus taught us. Together we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the table of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ, continue to bring me to everlasting life. Communion Antiphon. I am the good shepherd, and I lay down my life for my sheep, says the Lord. Let us pray and act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
prayer to Christ crucified in time of pestilence and contagion. Dear Lord Jesus, Savior of the world, our secure and unfailing hope, have mercy on us and deliver us from every evil. We beg you to overcome the scourge of this fearful virus which is spreading from place to place. We beg you to heal the sick, to protect the healthy, and to support those who work for the health care of all. Show us your face of mercy, O Lord, and save us in your great love. With the intercession of Holy Mary, your mother and ours, ever close to us in our needs, we ask you this, Lord Jesus, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Reminder that we have Mass on Sundays at 7, 9, and 11 o'clock. The 9 o'clock will be the only Mass that is going to be live streamed, recorded, and broadcast. If you are watching Mass during the week or praying it on Sunday, but do not want to come into the church, you may receive Holy Communion at the end of any Mass with the rest of the faithful who are here um, present at the Mass. Please be sure to get a reservation for Mass, either at the website or by calling on the um, church telephone number to reserve space at church. We're limited to 100 people. The funeral mass for Stephen Duffin will be on Friday at 10 o'clock. You're asked to be here early. Remember that it's limited to 100 people. Being a former priest, there might be other priests that are going to come and celebrate the mass as well. I don't want to discourage you, but only inform you. I talked with Father Frank just before mass because um, I called him to wish him a happy Father's Day. And so why don't we all say, Happy Father's Day, Father Frank. Happy Father's Day, Father Frank. He told me in Chicago that it was uh, two hours ahead of us, of course, and it was 90 degrees and sunny. I told him here in Fullerton, it's cool, probably not quite 70 degrees yet, and gloomy. He says, I really enjoyed those gloomy days. <laughs> I thought it was funny, too. I invite the fathers to please stand for a special blessing. And if you're at home, stand up and acknowledge yourself to your family. God our Father, in your great wisdom and infinite love, you've made all things. We ask that you bless these men, our fathers, that they may be strengthened as Christian fathers. Let the example of their faith and their, lives shine for, and their love sh shine forth Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dads, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Now let us all stand and pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of Christ your Son, we ask your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever, amen. Our it's your turn. Let us go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Glorious. 